Welcome to Comic Book News. Today we're going to talk about Batman Universe number one, a very curious comic that came out this week. It's a great sort of entry level Batman comic, but um, what's its connection to the books that came out from Walmart recently? There's only one way to find out to the bat poles. <laughs> Welcome to Comic Book News. Today, Batman Universe number one, a new book uh, written by Brian Bendis, along with every other book, it seems, in the DC Universe these days, uh, with art by Nick Darrington and colors by the great Dave Stewart. Let's go to the Million Dollar Comics cam and take a look at this, and let's compare it to the couple of other Batman books that also came out this week, the regular Batman comic and Batman the Damned. Uh, we're not going to review those in depth. I just want to comment on how... I think the mainstream, main Batman comics should be pretty approachable uh, by anybody. And that's what Batman Universe looks like and, and is to me. Very uh, appealing story. It's written at sort of, uh, you know, a, a 12, 13-year-old level maybe. But uh, really good art, fun uh, stories featuring the Riddler. Um straightforward kind of Batman stuff but with a cool modern look to it and um, I, I had a few issues some of the riddles weren't so great but we see people show up like um, other characters show up like Deathstroke the Terminator right and when they show up we, we see their name and we get a tiny expl explanation some exposition about you know what their powers are or whatever uh, you know he uses 90% of his brain power Batman be careful uh, which really um, to the to a casual person who's maybe only seen um, some of these characters like on the CW or in the movies or whatever, this is really nice. This is a way to sort of ease them in and welcome them into the comics world. This is what an entry-level Batman comic should should be like. You know, compared to, say, um, uh, Swing and Batpole Batman, uh, Batman the Damned, which is, you know, now considered adults-only stuff in this black label uh, means I don't know what it means now. It means a mature adults only stuff or standard Batman. Where I, I like this book more than a lot of people, regular Batman. But for this, you got to know a lot about who is this Flashpoint Batman. What uh, multiple? You I've never heard of any of this stuff in the movie, so or TV or whatever. So it doesn't make sense. This is sort of like the kid who read who watched the Batman Adventures on uh, uh, on TV. And wants a comic that's sort of like that. It's like Batman, right? It's not that complicated. Guy wears a bat suit. He beats people up. He solves crimes. Batman's cool. So, uh, but he, there's controversy here. This is a nice book, and I would have recommended it. In fact, I, I probably would have given it like a, in the seven area. I liked it so much, you know. Despite it sort of being like a Batman Adventures almost, it's almost, you know, your adult. 30 plus year old Batman fan is probably not going to like it that much. Um, or actually they could like it a lot, but it's not written for them. It's not written for the person who's been reading Batman for their entire lives and knows all the continuity and cares deeply about that stuff, right? But the real question is, where did this comic come from? I did a little bit of investigating and uh, I turned up this. This is the Batman 100 page giant. Uh, from that came out from Walmart okay and if you look very carefully in the corner you can't quite see it where it says down there den of thieves uh, th there's a picture of too many Riddlers and it's basically showing the story that came here now this is a 24 page uh, comic let's go back to the million dollar comics camp for a sec and uh, this is a 24 page comic for $4.99 okay Th these uh, DC 100 page giants went for 4.99 for 100 pages so meaning four comics worth for the same price. So for each comic was like a dollar 25 worth, you know, if you bought them in this pack and and if you try to find these Walmart comics now, uh, they're going for collectible prices because this was the first printing, the first appearance of these stories that are now going to be reprinted, right? And um, these are the 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 four different um, DC Giants uh, that came out. Justice League, Batman, Superman, and Teen Titans. And uh, you can expect that we're going to see Superman Universe and Teen Titans Universe, I, I would guess, 
in the not too distant future. So what do you think about this? Um, I want to know what you think because here's my opinion. Um, if if this comic cost four ninety nine and this comic cost four ninety nine and this one has the same story but three more, then I have to take my original seven and I have to divide it by four and I have to give uh, this comic a uh, what does that come out to? It's like a one point seven. So that's the, really the best that I can do here is uh, a 1.7. And, uh, you know, it would have been nice to get these 100-page giant formats in comic stores. They were exclusive to Walmart for a long time. These comics came out like a year plus ago um, by top-notch creators, right? Even the colorist on this is like a top-tier creative name. And the stuff looks great. It reads really well. This is the sort of comic you could give to any uh, 12 year old off the street and they'd be like, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. You know, um, some of Bendis's riddles were weak in this, but I'm looking forward to checking out the Superman comic, although that was written by Tom King. So, uh, will Superman, uh, be addicted to kryptonite or, and, and, uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm not, I don't want to go off on Tom King. I actually like the guy. Um, so I'm going to give that comic a chance, I guess, but I'm not thrilled at these prices for this package. It, it is a nice looking comic, like I said. Um, how much will these cost when they're collected? Should the should the Walmart Mart profits subsidize this? Are, are we just milking the direct market because we know some people will buy Batman anything? The answer is maybe. Anyway, uh, thank you so much uh, for for watching and supporting. And clicking, and liking, and subscribing. And hey, did you know uh, that if you want to see um, notifications that of new videos, you just got to click that little bell icon thingy, and then every time I make a new video, you're going to get a notification. So thank you so much for doing that, and thanks for watching, okay?